Let the blessing be your life. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah, Jesus. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. What do you need? Some volume? Okay. Praise the Lord. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Sister Dorette's sister being with us. She come to town. She, she come to town. She always come to visit us. We appreciate having her. Praise God. I told her to feel like she's part of the family when she get here, when she is. Praise the Lord. Appreciate everybody in the house of prayer and all our brothers and sisters. Praise God being with us in the ministry. Missionary. Praise the Lord. Either mother. Praise God. Appreciate the mother this Easter morning. Praise God. I'm going to get ready to go into the sun. Praise God. I'm going to go in the, I'm going to go in the service. Praise God. I'm going to ask Mother Carrie to get the sun. Yes, see. One, two. Yes. Come on, give the Lord a good hand clap. <laughs> Carrie, shout out to Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord.
shall abide in thy tabernacle. We shall dwell in thy holy field. He that walketh upright and worketh righteousness and speak the truth in his heart. He that he that backbite not with his tongue, nor do evil to his neighbor, nor take up a reproach against his neighbor. Who has a vile person is contained, but the honor but he honor them that fear the Lord. He that swear to his own hurt and change not. He that put it not out his money to an unsure, now take reward against the innocent. He that do things shall never be broke. I read you Psalm 15, chapter 13. Amen. Praise God. Let us know we're going to abide. Praise God. He's holy mountain. He's holy here. Praise God. Those that trust in the Lord put that on to it. Praise God. Amen. Sunday, I quote. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Lord. Let us know we got to abide in the Lord. Abide in the Lord. Praise God. Yes. The holy Bye. here. Praise God. In the word of God. Those that trust in the Lord, I always say that. Those that trust in the Lord. Yes. Praise the Lord Jesus. Lord. We're going to praise God as. Praise God, Sister Emma, to give us a song. Praise God. Hallelujah. Come on, the Lord. Praise the Lord Jesus. Let that mother of the night be my heart.
praise the Lord. Praise God. We appreciate that song. Praise God. We're going to get ready. Praise God. Oh, my testimony service. Praise God. Each and every one that wants to testify and sing the old song. Praise God. Do it. Praise God. Cause we're glad to be here. Praise yes. God. Glad those that can come in. Praise God. Those who want to testify, just come on to the mic. Praise God.
Lord. I praise the Lord. You know, I thank the Lord. I just want to testify. You know, I thank the Lord. I had, I had a visitation from my house. They made. I don't say he did. I just say he skipped. And I thank the Lord for that visitation that I had. You know, I appreciate it. And I would tell him first. I said, you know, I yet still got to go on, you know, because I, as I know I was taught it, you know, I thank the Lord for being over here now. And I was telling him, brother, I said, oh, I said, I don't, uh, I don't have, I don't fit well, so well. I, to me, it don't seem like I belong to nobody. But, you know, I, I appreciate Brother Austin and, and I was telling him, brother, I said, it came back to me, you know, when my uh, pastor was, when the Lord had a mural that, um, I had told him that I was going to go and be with my husband, you know, amen. amen. And he always, he, and he told me, he left this with me, and it, I'm telling him, Brother Friday, it came back to me. He said, go on, you're going to be okay. He said, because Brother Austin going to take care of you. Amen. Take care of you. You know, now I, I appreciate that. You know, I'm just telling us, you know, sometimes you never know what's going to happen, yet you got to go on. You know, amen. you got to praise God. But I thank the Lord, you know, how. I know the Lord finna take your church back. You know, that was yeah. part of my dream that I had, amen. Like, you know he not gonna come back, amen. I don't know, you know, but I know it's spiritual-wise, amen, how he walked in the fullness here all white. I mean, from top to bottom, he was just perfect, amen, with nothing, nowhere. And, but he didn't see as himself, amen. It was more a spiritual man, more. And he walked in and he said, uh, he finna take the eyes back from the, from the devil, amen. And he finna, take the ass back, but the devil took the ass of the church, but he finna take them back. He said, I came to take the ass back, amen. And I thank the Lord, I'll tell the brother, I said, I know that what it is, that the Lord finna get the ass back to the church now. And you know, when he walked in, amen, just like the people did, they was at their last moment, amen, just was on a few left holding on, you can call, count them on your hand, but you know the men, they started shouting, started praising the Lord, because it was said that God finna get his, take the eyes back. Amen. The devil had took the eyes, but the Lord finna take the eyes back. And I know the eyes, the, the thing that you see with the spiritual thing, you know, and I'm not going to tell it all, but there was some of you, know, and I just appreciate the Lord. I'm telling Fred, I said, I thank the Lord. Amen. For giving that bitch take, let me know to hold on all spiritual. Right, yeah. And he's coming back. Amen. And he can get the eyes back to the church because it seemed like the people's what at the Lord's they can get. Amen. I mean, the Lord they can possibly get. And at the Lord's, when you get at the Lord's and the dog is out, they say that's the minute when Christ finna get ready to step in. The minute you give and finna get ready to give up, amen. That's the minute that he finna come in, he finna lift up. And I appreciate the Lord, amen. I thank the Lord. I was telling my home, I said, I, I thank the Lord because, you know, it's a, um, I know the Lord is doing something to me, for me, amen, and to me too, amen. I was, I was telling him, I, you know, even Brother Boss was saying, how the Lord finna give me, give, you know, restore me back up, right, wherever my dear God come back. And you know, I, I know that when the Lord finished with me, I'm going to be what Jesus would have me to be. Amen. I, I thank the Lord for my trials and my tests, and I thank Jesus for allowing me to go through things. Amen. Because so I can consider, consider other people fit so I can understand more what other people going through. Amen. If you don't go, if you say you're going to minister the word of Christ and you have not experienced these things, experienced certain things, you will never know what people in are. They could be sitting right there and you never know the end thing. But I thank the Lord for not saying he allowed you to do things, but you'll learn from your mistake. You'll learn from the things that you go through, amen. And you'll learn, amen, to be more considerate with other people. And I thank the Lord. And I was telling uh, Brofred, I also I said I realized, you know, I, I had got locked up, amen. I got locked up, and I was locked up in jail for maybe, I don't know how long. And it was a good feeling, amen. It's, it's a most beautiful feeling you want to experience. And I thought it was one of my most terrible things that would maybe would happen in my life. And I was going to say, Lord, what could be worse than that? Because it could have been worse than that. So I just said, Lord, I thank you. But as I was sitting there, amen, and they so cruel to you downtown, you know, and I was sitting there, and I, I, I know Jesus with, with me, amen, and he allowed me to go through that. Sometimes you know you it's better than to suffer than sometimes it just always being right. But, you know, I appreciate that. But as I was sitting there, I said, I, I tell you, I said, one way or another, I said, the devil don't let me go. I said, because I, I don't have but one choice to do. I said, to get down here and tell these people about Jesus. I said, I'm going to talk about Jesus. And I tell you, I just talked about Jesus and talked about Jesus. And, you know, it, it's one, it, it, it was, and they 
said, get ready, get ready to fight. I said, we're not going to have no fight. I tell you, they, everything was quiet. It was peaceful. And I just thank the Lord. And I prayed for some people and some more things. And I just enjoyed a little because that was just kind of passing, taking things off my mind. Amen. And our brother Fred was saying, well, you need to go down there more often. Don't I said, I don't. That's the devil's a lie. You know that what I'm just saying. You know, I say the devil's a lie. But he was just saying when it comes about Jesus, I was just saying, well, Satan was a lie. I don't want to go down there. But I thank the Lord, you know, that when I walked it out, praise God. And when I walked at that place, I didn't see Brother Fred standing there waiting on me. I didn't see nobody standing there waiting on me. And you know, but I thank the Lord. You know, I said, Lord, I learned from that. I said, sometimes people don't know what people go through. I, we worked in the ministry, in the prison ministry, but now I know, I mean, it's, 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 I know how it feel. I mean, it's just, when you cut off, you can't get connection with nobody. You can't talk to nobody, and they treat you just like you this and that and yelling at you, and it's just awful down there. But you know, with Jesus, you can make it. And I'm telling Brother Fred, I said, I, I, I pray, pray, they all that James are blessed. Cheering. I'm telling Brother Fred, I said, because they got a praying mama, they got a praying daddy. Yeah. I said, they are blessed, amen. Yeah. You know, I said, when you got a, somebody that can pray for you, you are blessed, amen. Yeah. Because if you have no praying mama, daddy, or if you don't know how to pray for yourself, or you don't know about G, you just in a bad condition, you're not going to make it. But you know, I thank the Lord today, my heart is just carried, amen. I'm talking carried with Jesus because I know that the Lord is going to do something for me. I know that I'm going to be with Jesus. Amen. 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 Amen.
Lord, praise God. She said, the Lord, for to restore her prayer life back. Praise God. That's the best thing you can have in prayer life. Praise God. God, God make you strong through prayer. Praise yeah. Lord. We all have come short of God. We all have seen you come short. You know, skeleton went out, clothes, who went out, clothes. We can see all these skeletons falling out, can Praise God. We can, if the wall could talk, boy, praise God, none of them would be here. Praise the Lord. That's true, me either. Praise the Lord. So I thank the Lord for restoring my brothers and sister back. I'm going to take this time to uh, welcome our visitor. Steve, praise God. Appreciate my sister in law. Stand, this prayer, mother. Amen. Appreciate him being back. He was with us and my sister and my, my niece back there. She from college. Praise God. Stand up. Praise God. Mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I'll tell you about it. When she want to know something, she called me from way up in Nashville. <laughs> praise God. Asked me about the religion. You know, I appreciate her. And when she come to town, praise God, this is the truth. She always come to church. Praise God. And I told her, don't be good. You can't tell you nothing else. <laughs> Praise God. And she was talking to me about some Jehovah's Witnesses. We were having a little meeting about that. And I was enlightened about some things, you know. Praise God. She said, oh, we got my Bible in school, you know. And I appreciate that. I'm young people. Praise God. Appreciate the Gary back there. Little Richard. Stand up. Praise the Lord. Appreciate having him. I'm calling him the ministry. Praise God. Grew up with my boys. Praise the Lord. Freedom. I'm telling you, he's really right and encouraging them. Praise God. And I appreciate these back there. Appreciate the whole house of prayer. Yeah. Praise the Lord. We need help with our kids. Praise the Lord. He told me this morning, I told you mama won't be there. Huh? I said, I'm trying to get an attitude, huh? I said, I don't care about the attitude. I don't want to do it be at church. Praise the Lord. We ain't worried about this attitude. We want them out of children so safe. Appreciate all our young people. Praise God and all our stand up ministry. I'm going to give y'all a little talk today. Stand up, please. Praise the Lord. Make y'all feel good about change. Come on. Praise God. Come on. Appreciate our quiet. Praise the Lord. I just want to thank the Lord for waking me up this morning. Let me see this first. I'm sorry. Sister, after this, I'm going to let Sister hear because I see her stand. Praise God. So I'll let her testify because I don't want to make nobody feel bad. You know, I see her when she stood. Praise God. So after Theo, she can come testify. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. If she wants you, she can come right now. No, no, no. <laughs> Why you got this in opportunity? <laughs> <laughs> the Lord have his way. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> 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 the Lord. Go ahead. I just thank the Lord for waking me up this morning. And, uh, and uh, just want to thank him. Give him thanks. Because I know I could have been somewhere else, you know. Yeah. Getting drunk, you know. Yeah. And everything else, cracking everything. I just thank God he delivered me from that, but I'm still fighting. Yeah. And a lot of times I could be on my porch and the people pass by and I just look at it and I just fight and come, you know, go in the house. You know, I just want to say that, you know, and it just that's no stuff no one wanna get on. I put it like that. I done experienced all of that, so I feel like I owe my life to the Lord. Because I feel like, you know, I don't hold too much. I hope I'm not holding too much time. I want to say this too. I just want to say when the, when the devil had me out there and, you know, doing this and doing that and caused me to lose my, you know, my limbs, so I always figure, you know, that's the way the Lord get my attention, you know. Because the way I was going, I guess, you know, the devil tried to kill me. So I just want to say, the young folks, y'all need to get it right, because he, he had he had y'all worship yeah. bang yeah. all yeah. this shooting going yeah. on yeah bang. don't make yeah. no sense yes yes and I just want to say thank you Jesus it ain't it ain't about smoking blunts or smoking weed ain't that ain't that ain't, that ain't nothing that's not cool cool is when you live for Jesus that's cool yeah. 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 all right yo. yeah and I just want to say the Lord just just lays on my heart to say this and I appreciate Brother Freddie. You know, I look at him as a big brother, you know. Look at Sister Rowan as a big sister. Yeah. Sister Oz as a mother. 
brother Fred, that brother Austin, and the father. You know, I just hear everybody here as, as family, you know? Yeah. Even brother Baby Lock, you know, everybody. Yeah! And I feel like y'all saw me, I'm, I'm at home. Yeah! Yeah, I really appreciate my care. You know, y'all not appreciate her. But <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, y'all. Oh, <laughs> I am not want to do the time, I just want to sing a little bit of running for my life. I ain't too much to say, I'm going to just try to make it the best I can. But I can't sing the blues, I can sing the chicken. You know, so I'm just trying to sing a little bit. You got me out the road. I'm running for my life, I'm running for my life. I'm running for my life, I'm running for my
let the choir come forward, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Come on, get them. Appreciate House of Prayer, praise God. Appreciate the testimony, the reading, praise God. Appreciate everybody. Yes. Tell us still ahead. Yes. Yeah. We'll feel that joy. Yeah. Hallelujah. Appreciate our choir. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Please come and get up. Please cry. Please. Yeah. Appreciate our young people. You know, you could have the street doing something else. They chose and praise God to be the Lord. Praise the Lord.
Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for nothing but your mercy and grace. 
Lord, that brought us to this place today. Amen. So, Lord, I bow down and worship you. Thank Lord, you, God, Jesus. Give you thanks, Lord. Yes. For all that you've done. Well, some up the street last night. They were celebrating it by a party. Drink it, drink it. And world of music. But God, we celebrate you by assembling ourselves here. Tell you to thank, thank you for the risen. Thank you, Lamb of God. Taking authority over the enemy. Thank you for your worry. Thanks for standing up for our loved ones and our family. The devil is zeroed in on them. Lord, we take time out and give you thanks and give you praises. And we ask you, Lord, to hide us behind the cross and cover us with the blood of Jesus. In Jesus' name, keep us from all hurt, harm, and danger. We ask it to be so. In Jesus' name. Thank God. Give him a hand and praise. We need to be seated. You know that I, I'm a fine believer. But you know what? It's a fight. And this worry prevails. You know? And uh, but it's a fight to, to we just ministered yesterday that we gotta get this worry down inside, you know, it just can't be on the top. Because that devil gonna chip away on that that's on the top. Yeah. You may be standing in front of God for two months. The devil is fighting you, but you need something to go all the way. Yeah. Uh, and after two months, God ain't delivered, look like yeah. that. And they'll begin to hammer away the words, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you find yourself um, losing faith. Mm -hmm. But this word is going to be solid through and through. It's going to have to be all the way through. It's going to have to be from the top all the way to the bottom. The word of God is going to have to be there. And Brother Belock, I'm fighting for him. Yeah. I'm, I, I believe what God's word is saying. Yeah. You know, it ain't easy now. Yeah. It ain't easy because the devil here stand up against you. But I believe God's word. Paul told us, I believe it should be even as God had told me. And we got to believe that it's going to be even as God has told us. You know? Jesus said, when, he, when the Son of Man comes, is he going to find faith on there? Is he going to find faith? And I thank God for this word. Thank God for this ministry. You know, it ain't just a church ministry. I thank God for the Lord. He purposed his heart to help us and to give us strength, you know. And to see us through, Sister Charlie. It ain't just about. Going to church and giving you a good sermon up. Right. Everybody get to shout and stuff like that. It's, it's my help. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sprint. I appreciate the Lord. The Lord has not put that spirit in me. Thank God. But just get up there and be preaching for it. It'll be just a, just a little little message. But God, give us something, Brother Fred, to help us. Yeah, help us because the devil is out there, Brother Will. Yeah. I'm telling you, he's, out there. Yeah. he's not playing around. This yeah, devil's right. on a rampage. Yeah. Yeah. And we need the Lord to. Stand up, Foster. Help us. And I thank the Lord for that. I'm going to speak to you today. Appreciate everybody's out today. It's just good. I tell you, but ask the Lord to help you to fight. You know, help you to fight. You know. It may be Easter, but you know, the devil won't back off because of Easter. I'm telling you, he's, he's, he's out there. And we need the Lord to. But just stand. I thank God for the testimony, brother. You can see, just delivered from his cigarette for a couple of months. Amen. And I was telling him yesterday, you know. Yeah. You may fight two months and three months, four months. What about six months? Eight months? Yeah. Right. Yeah. They're worried solid in you. They're worried and solid through and through. They're going to knock off all that little top faith that you got. All that little top step factor that you got. Get on down the business, but I'm telling you, but I'm telling you, you know, to be strong in faith, you gotta be. The Bible says, I want to get to my message, but the Bible says faith comes by hearing and hearing of the word of God, you know. And, and we gotta hear this. That's why we keep hammering this word. And, and that Jesus made us overcome it because faith comes by hearing. And, and brother Fred, what work for other folks got to work for us. What will work for you, brother, but I gotta work for me. Yeah. I can't tell you no different. Yes. Something no different than that's going to apply to me because it's the faith come by here. 
I, I remember my mother-in-law, this is going on now, you know, we was talking the other day, and she said, oh, well, she wish she was alive. So long said, I'm running too. And uh, well, she used to speak about faith all the time. And I carried her to the doctor. And the doctor told her something, she come out, boy, her faith just, I said, sister, I said, what did he say? Oh, man, she had that ex expression on her face. I know she was trouble. I said, Sister, I what did he say? She said, He said, He don't know how I'm living, brother. He said, My heart just gone. He said, He don't know how I'm living. And it's scared. See, faith come by here. Yeah. Whether good news or bad news, faith come right. by here. Yeah. 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 Man, they can give you an E report and, and faith, that be your faith up. Maybe in the wrong thing, but you, you start believing it. Yeah. Start confessing it. So we gotta have this thing somewhere this worry works. Somewhere this worry, we get it down deep down in us. It works, we just got to. We gotta get it and hold on to. I appreciate the Lord. Listen, I'm gonna go to the word of God. I'm gonna pull you on. I appreciate all the beautiful faces today. And, uh, Last Sunday, you know, man, just, just God. You know, Lord really did something for him last Sunday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. How many know there's a time that we need to come to God? Yeah. Everybody. Yeah. You know, I told you two times this church should be full of two tonight. Yeah. You know, because everybody all stop and take the cup. You know, have the Lord to bless you this Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. I said, people all together here, just the Lord, we just come say and tell you thank you. Yeah. Yeah. We just come let you know we appreciate you yeah. how you kept us and what you've done for us. You know, me and I come nothing big and special on your heart, but just to tell the Lord so we gather here, Lord, just to show you we really appreciate you. Just let you know we really appreciate you. You didn't have to bring us to the Monday and Tuesday, Sunday, but you did. We just want to gather here and tell you thank you for it. You know, folks need to get into the house of God and tell the Lord thank you, you know. What? And don't we cheat on God? I said, folks, talk about adultery and fornication, but we commit adultery and fornication with God. We are stepping out on the floor. That's right. Thank God. We need to be clean to God. We're stepping out on God. God's a bit check me somewhere. I'm doing other stuff. Amen. Committing fornication. Amen. 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 Don't be a God the, the limit. I don't know if you got transportation or not, but. On a Tuesday night, it ain't much to be here on a Tuesday night. Amen. Somebody just fussing? No, I'm just, I'm just uh, exhorting you. Amen. If you're available, you know? If you're available, you know? Got to deliver someone from alcoholics, from drugs, cigarettes, from nightclubbing, from party, and everything else. And, and we ought to stop and take that to God. I mean, a couple hours on Tuesday night ain't hurt you. A couple hours on Saturday ain't hurt you. A couple hours on Sunday ain't gonna hurt you. Why don't God cut this stuff off? Why don't God cut that job away from you? Man, why don't God man, seal that job up? And you can't get nothing but a $5 an hour job or minimum wage up. Cut that off before you do it. No, we don't. We start paying our tithes. Because we ain't making a lot of things. We start trying to prove God that little dog man. And you're breaking that fit that you had to give God. A man, you start getting down to the tithes, the dog hand, you start trying to prove God. I'm going to prove God. Prove God. I know I, I was praying about the door. I said, God, help her. I know when she gets in trouble sometimes, she'll, she'll prove, really prove God. A job, get that stake, and she, and she crew gone. And then sometimes you get on down and you lose that. You know, the Lord took all this stuff off of us. So we need to press. Amen. And I just said, I said, Lord, this church should be full of you tonight. Just to come in and say, Lord, thank you. 
It's well, I'll be tired, not just me. Jesus was tired. Jesus was tired when he came to the cross. That's right. That's right, Richard. Joe was tired. He could have said, I'm not giving. I'm not going to bear this little burden. I'm not giving. I'm not going to bear this But he did for us. He pressed his way on. He pressed his way on. I'm going to get to this just a moment. We got to do stuff when it costs us up. You know, a lot of times I don't feel like it. But God put a chart on it. Mm -hmm. You know? We got to do it when it's going to cost us. Sometimes we don't press, but the might going to cost us. You know? Sometimes we cut God short because it costs us up. Sometimes folks won't pay their time because they, they ain't going to be able to buy that extra pack of ground beef on. They'll get that extra, need a little extra something, they won't pay the time because they're going to cut them short. But we need to be cut short. I am not talking about we need to be cut short. If anybody's going to be neglected, it's got to be us. It can't be God. I mean, no, this is true. Baby. It can't it's, be, it's got to be it's solid. us. It can't be God. You know? I told them, I said, they need to plan that other stuff, not on God's Sabbath, they need to plan it on, on some other day. Getting you from God. I'm going to miss one day. Well, maybe you can, I'm not. I'm just telling you, God trying to bring us back to Him. Man, our, our body needs Him. Yes. Our children needs to live. Come on, preach up. Thank God, we honor, we honor, we honor man to shout up there every day. Man, the church is played. Shout out there. Right Death rattles in the church. Come on, preach out. All right. We're fighting to stay alive. Yeah. Hey, when the church is fighting to stay alive, the death rattle is in the church. Thank God we honor the shout out there. Thank God we need God. We got to turn back to Jesus. It's good last Sunday, but he said, they same today that we're off the last Sunday. We got to stop neglecting the law. My body's so tired. Don't worry about that. Just press your way on anyway. You got to give some rest. Don't fight your way through work the next day and go home and go to bed. Now, now Jesus like this here. Jesus like this here. But so we feel the bad and we don't want to, we want to lay around. That brother right there got a job. When the rain was leaks up, he got to be out there. He can't stay at home while they rain. I told man, I found out you let rain keep you away from the church. <laughs> God done blessed him with that job. He got a good job. Working for the city, you know. And he prayed. He said, he said he'd been one that long. He prayed. He said, oh, this for me. And God, God, you know what God did? When he got ready to get that job, man, they had 20 people ahead of him. I mean, he worked for a while, and they laid him off. They told him he's going to do that. And then his permanent job, he had 20 people ahead of him, I believe. You know what God did for him? Because he confessed that God sent 20 old drug addicts in there. God sent 20 old, old people piled on drugs that couldn't pass the drug test. That's what God will do for you. Thank God. He'll send some alcoholics in there. He'll send some old drug addicts in there. Thank God they can't pass the test until your time come up. And that's what God did for him. He sent a bunch of drug addicts. Sit down, sit some drug addicts in there. I'll get you in. I'll get you in, and then we're gonna let rain stop us. Thank God, we're gonna let the tide stop us. All right, all right, all right. Amen. Yes, Thank you. Yeah, Man, if I find out you let rain catch you from work, I throw some there and make sure you tell it now. <laughs> That'll be too good to us. Yes! Yeah. yes. Oh. Tell it, preacher! Oh. Be good to us, sister. What's the leading now? What's the second?
Did you preach it, Ronald? Right? Did you preach it, the Lord? Yeah, sure. Say, my sister just come out of my side. Could have been dead, could have been. When your church didn't deliver to Jesus. That's it, preach your church can't deliver to Jesus. Jesus. When nobody start calling on that church when they get in trouble. Come on, preach it. I bet you're going to start calling on Brother Oh, Brother Oh, the living. Brother Oh, help me. You're going to call on Jesus. Like that, preacher. That is, preacher. I guarantee you this. You don't call on I'm not going to call on any one of your name. I'm going to be calling on Jesus. Yeah. He's the one. Yeah. Yes. He's risen. Now, this is the Easter Sunday. They got this Sunday set for the resurrection of Christ. Hallelujah. And he's risen. Hallelujah. If he hadn't risen, I wouldn't be here today. Hallelujah. That's right. Man, when he got up in the club, put a gun down there and shot, I'd have been gone several times in an accident. Thank God, I'd have been gone and Jesus hadn't been, but no, Jesus told us. He said, listen here, I come to give you life and I thank God that he's risen. Hallelujah. The Bible said, committee, you made sin for us. God. And that's something. Well, let me ask you, Isaiah 61, he said, the spirit of law is upon me. God said, no to me. To bring glad tidings. This is glad tidings. He who made sin for us. This is glad tidings. Brother, baby, thank God. He said, the Bible said, man, he was wounded for our transgression yes. and a chest time our Chest time, the thing that gave us peace, the Bible says, was upon Jesus. Glad tidings. You come to bring glad tidings. Tell you, listen, I'm coming to give you life and abundance of life. That the devil, devil come to steal, but I'm coming to give you life. This is glad tidings. Thank God, he said, we are overcome. We are more than conquered through him. Thank God. He said, thank God, you abide in me and my word abide in you. So you can ask what you will. Thank God that Jesus is risen. Man, then my heart sister hug said a while ago, by his strength, I still believe by his strength. That's good news. That's good news. That's good news. That's good news. The doctor telling you one thing, but the, the word of God will tell you such good news. Thank God when the world pronounced judgment on you, when the world pronounced damnation upon you, when the world pronounced death and destruction upon you, thank God you got good news with the gospel. He said, if I be for you, I'm more than the world against you. Who can be against you if God be for you? When I want to get ready on the job, hearts. Thank God. The Lord's who can stand against me. 
Because I'll be fine. I'm more than a woman ish. But my God, if God's for you, if the Lord is for you, if we can get Jesus on our side, he's more than a woman ish. He's not coming to be glad tidings. Glad tidings. You know what he said that in Ephesians? Some of these in the scripture there. He said when he led, when he led, when he went up on high and sent up on high, what did he do? He led captivity to kill captive. Uh-huh. Thank God he done went down there and he done led captivity. You don't have to be captive. I'm a captain no more. He done led captivity to captive. The thing that captured you, Jesus done led in captivity. He done took, he done took hold of that thing. He done took that thing into custody. Thank God we don't have to be bound, thank God, on drugs. Brother Ben, he went in captive, captive. And the thing that had us in captive, Jesus went in and got a hold of it. But went in the grave. Three days and three nights. Man, Jesus went in the grave. This flesh is secret. He wasn't, he wasn't just dying out. Jesus never did die. He just went to the grave. That flesh just hanging there. But Jesus went in the grave. Thank God and took the keys from the devil. Took over the death, the stain of death. The bodies have been taken out. He took the stain of death. Thank God, we ain't got to go through the stain of death no more because of Jesus. Thank God, we're going to pass from death to life. Thank God, we just going to be a sinner with Jesus. Thank God, the stain of death has been taken out from us because he has risen. Yes. Right. Glad times. It captive. Maybe we got something God worried. Man that has on the captive. Jesus, I led that captivity. Made the captive. Glad times. Man, when they went back to some hotel, Peter, he's risen. That was good news. Good news, then, sir. That was a bad time. Go tell him. And the angel told him, Mary, I said, listen here, he's risen. Say, why are you seeing the dead among the, the living among the dead? He's risen. He's not here. He's risen. Thank God, heart. He's risen. So go back and tell Peter and them that he's risen. That was a glad time. Yeah. Thank God, but we didn't know hell didn't hold his body. Yeah. Hell couldn't hold him. He went down there and he took the skis from the devil. Freed them and robbed him. Thank God, he has seen it up. When he resurrected, there was good news that man that my Lord has a sin in grave that grave didn't hold him. Man, he was hung up by our offenses. And he was raised by our justification. Ah, just good news. All of sin, every one of us has seen. Every single one of us. See. And you saying you don't. Tell it, preacher. Good news. Good news. Sister. Good news. He tell us that. Good news. He said, listen here. He will make sin for us. If it wasn't, we just made a quick church. Everybody just go on back home and do what you want to be doing because you, if he wouldn't make sin for us. Because all have sin, sister. That's right, preacher. Glad time, and I thank God. We got a Savior. Got somebody to stand up for us. Got somebody to help us. Tell us that in Romans 8. He said, they are therefore now, brother, friend, listen, listen. Now tell me this ain't good news. Glad time. There is therefore now no condemnation to them which are in Christ Jesus, who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. No condemnation in you. He didn't say no that summer, if you don't summer, if you don't fall weak, if you don't have a problem here, a problem there. He said, but them that are in Christ Jesus says now no condemnation. Good news. Good news about our weak flesh. Good news about our weak flesh. Good news about our weak flesh. Good news about our stumbling way. Good news, thank God, to all my weakness. 
be the Lord's of us. Bring that tidings. God them, got them, took all that holy and holy and holy and now away from us. And he put a cry in our heart for mercy and grace. Put yeah. something hard to thank him for. Got to bring her to the place to realize, thank God, one place resurrection, Sister Amy. I tell you, reading our first mercy and grace. That's death. Now, good news, Sister Austin. Yes. Good news. You try to live the best you can, but in all that living, you still mess up. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Still think wrong. Still act wrong sometimes. All right, preacher. Yes. I'm bad times. Yes. He's made sin to us. Rather than thank God. He may sin for you. That's good news, lady. My Lord died in my place. You know what? You have to die. Jesus died in my place. Is that good news? Yes, man. That's good news? John said he didn't, God didn't send his son in the world to, to condemn the world, but through him the world may be saved, that them that believe yes. in him. Yes, that's what it says, preacher. To have life shall yes. not come in condemnation. Is that good news? Is that good news that we can be saved? Is that good news? Is that good news?
to go to Jesus' grave, go to his tomb, ain't nothing back. Tell it, preacher. <laughs> All, right. All these so-called prophets and so-called what they were that rose up. It's supposed to be somebody go to their tomb and their bones are stacked. Yes. Yes. Go to the tomb of Jesus. <laughs> Empty. Empty. That's right, preacher. It's empty. Yes. He's rose. He's not back. Yeah. He's not here. But he's risen. <laughs> That's right. He said, when he went up, he led captivity to death. He didn't just go in there. He went in there. And everything that give us, bring us into captivity, Jesus led it captive. Right, yeah. Every spirit of captivity, I don't care what it is, Jesus led it captive. Yeah. Jesus led it captive. Everything. condemnation yes. but now we can live out on a condemnation no we mess up we repent so Jesus forgive me and Jesus help me I'm sorry I slipped yes. glad times the church is going to survive but they're going to survive through Jesus they're going to overcome but they're going to overcome through Jesus right right church in the preachers in trouble. The so-called apostles in trouble. So-called prophets is in trouble. In trouble, sister culture. And we need Jesus. Thank God we're glad to have For them that try. For them that want to. For them that are striving. For them that are trying. Striving around the do right. Trying to live right. Trying to live right. Thank God for this glad times. Yeah. So Scott, we'd be so and so just come there, maybe just throw back him and try nothing there no more. What for that glad times? What for that good news with you? It'll make you quit church. If it wasn't for the good news of the gospel, you just quit church. If it wasn't for the good news of the gospel, I would just quit church. I wouldn't buy back going to church no more. Yeah. But because of this good news, because of this glad time. Jesus said, the Bible said, Isaiah, that the Spirit of the Lord was upon him because he anointed him to, to bring back time. Preach good news. Come on, so what you doing? You're trying to help the church. He's risen. He's risen. He ain't in the grave. He's risen. He's living in him. He's living in us. He's there to forgive us and to help us. People's on the money, but we don't have to. Through Jesus Christ. This is what the Lord is telling us. At least I led captivity captive. You don't have to no more. You don't have to be on the bunch. I led that captive. He led that captive. Never tell you, MC, you had to keep on smoking. But you know what? Never told me I had to keep on drinking. Never told me I had to live that kind of life. But Jesus, uh-uh. You know what Jesus read me? You know what he told me? He said, you don't have to do it no more. You know why? Because let the captain get the cow. When he stepped in my room that Sunday afternoon, he said, you don't have to do it no more. Yeah. <laughs> Watch out, That's what he told me. He said, you don't have to do it no more. He said, the very thing. And they had food parties. I had back lid and your husband there. Food parties. And I went over there, man, all over this old chicken. Jim, man, they call me Jim. Jim, man, I know that wasn't for you, man. That, that, that life wasn't for you, man. I know, man. Because I love to drink. And I love to party. And I went on here living on them wind bricks. Wind bricks. They threw a party tonight, man. They had booze and stuff, man. I tried to suck off a cigarette, and I don't get one there no more. And I got to drink. You know, my sweet little wife, when I go somewhere and come back, she, she's suspicious I'm drinking. 
I'm going to come back so you get my favor. <laughs> Sniff, I'm trying to see. Can't you smell it? Now, it's true. <laughs> Can't see if you smell it in the <laughs> That's right. So you check me out, little baby. But thank God. I don't know. I'm about one day or two days going to church. I laid in the bed. The Spirit of the Lord walked in. It's his name. Don't say you're free. <laughs> All right, preach. All right, preach. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Free. I don't have to do it no more. That's what he told me. You're free. I don't have to let the cat take the cat. I don't have to do it no more. I'm risen. I'm risen. And you don't have to do it. Yeah, just like I'm talking to you, you talk to me. And I believe that bad times. Yes. I was ashamed. Hallelujah. Embarrassed because I went back yes. to the world. Hallelujah. Trying to hide, duck and die, trying to hide. Embarrassed, ashamed. But the Lord come in and say, you don't have to do it no more. You're free. You're free. You don't have to do it. Bless 
your wonderful so name, Jesus. You don't have to not run off. I just can't sleep at night. You don't have to not, not have no rest. He led this captain. Yes. Captain. And he gave gifts on the night. Listen, thank God, brother, brother, that you yes. went back. Yes. Thank God, I'm so glad they married and them find them in the tomb. Yes. I'm so glad that when Peter and John ran to the tomb, looked and like he went back. Yes. I'm so glad he got it. Yes. Got it, brother, please. You had that heart, mama. You went in the hospital, had that heart, mama. You probably thought you wasn't going to make it. Get the food around that little kicker, you think you ain't going to make it. But you know what it was? It's because Jesus risen. He called the good news, the glad tidings. That he brought you out of the hospital. That he fixed your heart. Hallelujah. So by his strength. Here he Thank God for this resurrection. Frank, I don't care if it's on a Monday, I don't care if it's on a Tuesday, it don't make no difference to me. Right, yeah. If it's on a Wednesday, I'm not thinking five months on a Sunday, a Saturday, or what was Friday, or what was it? Okay, when he went in the grave, that's, a, that's his business when he went in there. Yeah. Thank God he rose up. Yeah. Thank God he went down there and took the stain out of there. Yeah. Thank God that we, that the devil can't keep us in hell, the devil can't put us in hell. Thank God Jesus went down there. Jesus paid the price. Jesus only. 
you own me. And I tell you what, if we'll try, keep trying, keep striving. I know we're going to make mistakes in there. I mean, we're going to do it. I wish we didn't, but we're going to do it. But if we'll strive and keep trying, keep striving, Jesus said, there's now no condemnation. You know why? Because the Bible says in Colossians, thank God that, man, all the fullness of the gospel dwell in him, and we are what? Complete in him. We are complete in Jesus, brother Charlie. You are complete. Complete, brother Mike. In him. If you get it, Jesus, you're complete. There ain't nothing like it. Ain't nothing missing. Nothing like it. You're complete in him. You know what, bro? The blood was shed. The blood shed. You know what? The blood cleansed the people. Didn't cleanse them, but it's just a, a shadow of things to come. They cleansed the people. You know, until the next year. That blood, but the Lord saw that blood. You know, when they put that blood on that blood post in Egypt, the death angel passed. Yeah. When we are completed him. Yeah. And, and, and when we met, man, when God looks up on us, Sister Couch, you know what he looked through? The blood of Jesus. All right. Get it, preacher. That blood is not cleansed. It's like a cleanser. It's like a filter. It's like a cleanser. It's a cleanser. Ain't you mighty master? It cleanses you. It's, it's a cleanser. And when God looks at you, he looks at you through the blood of Jesus, and the blood of Jesus cleanses you. It filters you. Filters you from your sin. Filters you, thank God. It cleanses you from your sin. And that blood purifies you. He said, if you're in Christ, there's now no condemnation. Thank God for this glorious gospel. For this glad time. Yes. Sister God just has to. It has to. Know how sin be men. Gonna be red like crimson. The Lord said you make the white as smooth. It's not. This gospel of good news, glad times. Now we have hope. Brother Banks, we have hope. Have hope. Listen, I know the man, I'm gonna close. I, the man of God was saying that, you know, A.A. Allen, he both been died an alcoholic, you know, acute alcoholic. That means you don't start drinking today to get to be an acute alcoholic. That means you've been drinking over, this, over some period of time. A.A. Yeah, Allen, that great man of God, died an acute alcoholic. But you know what? God looked at him, he saw that blood. He said, he died on his knees. He said, he's probably what he's doing there, repenting. Getting straight with God, because God saw him. He did somebody work with God, he did a few people home. He did for God's God, and he's almighty, you see. And the man of God said, he had a vision. And he showed him Elijah. And he showed him all this great hall of fame in heaven, from the men of God. And he looked, and he said, he help it ain't out right there on that hall, great hall of fame, wall in heaven. See, right there, God said, right there with the rest of them. God looked at him through the blood. Mm -hmm. the blood that cleansed, purified alcohol. That's right, preacher. Blood of Jesus Christ. Thank you so much. Well, I just drank all I want, all. <laughs> I just smoke all I want. This is that blood going to cleanse me. There's a no song. Tell it, you fall into a snap. When you fall into a ditch, you fall into a snap. You just can't get yourself out like that. You need a helping hand. You need somebody to help you when you fall in trouble. When you get in a snare, you need somebody to help you. You need the words. You need Jesus to give you a hand when you fall into a snare. Because the devil ain't intended to let you out of that. The devil ain't intended to let you go. He want to keep you out of that bondage. Need some help. And that blood helped you. You praise it. God help you. Deliver you. Help you. Lord, I see fit to let you go on. You look, God, look at the blood of Jesus. You confess it. You confess it. Let me say this. I'm going to let you go. Great. The man of God, he's a, 
in the pit. He died. He was headed to hell. Falling fast. In hell. Just falling in the darkness. He began to say in this video, Lord, I preached all over the world. I feel sick. I've denied myself. I've lived for you. I've, I begin to tell all this in. Yeah, you still give off the soul. He knew it in the field. And as he was falling in the darkness, a, a voice spoke out from above, say, say that. God so loved the world that he sent his only begotten son. Who shall believe here shall not pray for him. For God sent not his word, son of the world, to condemn the world, but through him the word may say, he that believe it, and you believe in Jesus Christ. He said when he heard this voice, he screamed out, so I can't be lost, I believe in Jesus. Jesus. And when he said that, thank God, he shot forward and began to sit up. Yes. And as he was sitting up, he saw that great light. Hey, thank God, it works ain't going to get you to heaven. You got to believe in Jesus. You got to take him for your place of Savior. You got to believe that he resurrected, he was raised for your justification, and that he was sin for us. Yes. Being lost. I can't be lost. I believe in Jesus. <laughs> That's right. Gotta get it, preacher. Man, he said, stop falling. The doctor shot him. And as he was going, he saw that great light. <laughs> but they said, I feel sorry for the Jehovah's Witnesses. And the Muslim, I feel sorry for all them that don't accept Jesus. Don't accept Christ. Jesus. That's, That's right. right. That's have right. to come through the door. I feel sorry for you. Jesus on the door. You got to come yes. through. Yes. He said, right. come through Jesus. He said, got to. I just wrote that scripture in the philosophy. He said, Fullness of the Godhead. Well, well, in Jesus. Fullness, brother, child of the Godhead. Well, the fullness of it is in Jesus. Are you looking at now? That's right. He said, You got to believe in it. You believe in me. Told him, said, You believe in my father. Believe all here. Believe, believe in me also. Believe in me also. He risked it, right, baby? Yes, right. Yes. Thank God for this glad tidings. You know what? I need this yes. good news yes. about my sister's yes. I need this glad tidings about my devil's fight. I need this glad tidings right along about my MC. I need to know that the Lord loves me and he has not forsaken me. I need to know, thank God, he's there with me. If I didn't have that, brother, man, I have to hold on to it. Yes. Man, where would I be? Holy Father, lift your hands to him. Good, good God. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I thank you, Master. Yes, good news. Thank you, For this Father. glad time. Yes. I hope it's in you. And you, Lord. I hope it has to be in you. It can't be in nothing else, Lord. It has to be in you. And I thank you for this good news. Glad time. God, you're going to let every man come into a place where you're going to realize that it's got to be. It's going to take you. Hallelujah. It's going to take every man, God. And I said, man, I mean woman, too. Hallelujah. Gonna come into a place where this, where all this is gonna be off their shoulder. It's gonna be on your shoulder. Yes, they're not gonna carry this. Hallelujah. But they're gonna have to believe in you. Gonna accept you, Lord, as their personal savior. And I thank you, Master. Thank you, glorious Father, for this glorious gospel that you put in us. God, put this glorious gospel in us. Put this glorious word in us, Lord. I'm asking to help the people's Lord. God, we're fighting. Folks are fighting. They ain't telling nobody about it. They're struggling, Lamb of God. They're struggling, God. They're struggling, Father, to hold on. They're struggling. They're fighting against all the forces of Satan. And we need you. The church needs you. The church is going in to pretend and act like ain't nothing wrong. But God, there's something desperately wrong. And I thank you. God, help us. You said come to open up the prison doors. Peace to accept the year of the Lord. It's good news. God, let folks turn their attention to you. God, don't let them look on their sin. Don't let them look on what they've done in their life. But let them come to you. God, bring all their baggage to you. Oh, Jesus. It's a Father, I'm bringing this load, the whole load. I'm bringing everything to you. I'm bringing all my weaknesses, all my habits. I'm bringing them to you, Jesus. Just as I am. I'm coming to you, Lord. Yes, Jesus. I'm coming to you, Lord, just as I am. God, don't let people not want to go to church because they're not living right. Holy God, in Jesus' name, I, I pray, Father. Holy God. I pray, Lamb of God, that you will stir up their minds and let them get in the house of God and, yes. and tell you, Lord, I'm coming the way I am. Yes. I'm coming to give you thanks. And somewhere in your mercy, God, somewhere, Lord, I make him find grace in your eyes. Hallelujah. Make him find a place. Wonderful Savior. 
in your heart that I can find grace and mercy. In Jesus' name, Father, I thank you. Thank God. Give him a hand, praise me. Folks, why are you trying to just like me? Thank you, Lord. I told y'all the other son he was trying to prank him. 